Just behind the Boston Marathon, the Jackson Day Race in St. Bernard is the third oldest in the country. This year, two sheriff's deputies unexpectedly became one man's heroes at the Jackson Day Race. Meg Ferris reports from Shelmet. It was the annual Jackson Day Race in January in St. Bernard Parish. Captain Stephen Ingargiola and Lieutenant Jorge Vargas were walking the route when a runner collapsed. We turn him over and that's when He's breathing, he's still mumbling, he's incoherent, and then all of a sudden he seizes up and he stops breathing. When you see that chest rise completely stop, it's a, it's a scary situation. St. Bernard deputies carry automated external defibrillators in their patrol cars. AEDs can shock a heart back into the correct beating rhythm during cardiac arrest. They put it on the runner, then started CPR, one doing chest compressions while the other was his breath. It was right about here on St. Bernard Highway, right near the entrance to the port, where the two officers worked on the man for six whole minutes. Unit OK. The AED technology is so smart, it told the officers it didn't need to shock the patient, but that they needed to keep doing CPR. Just that reassurance from the AED to say continue to do what you're doing is, was a big, I guess, ease for me. St. Bernard Parish has had AEDs and patrol cars for years. Slidell Police, NOPD, St. Tammany, Jefferson, and St. Charles Parish deputies do not carry AEDs. St. Charles is open to considering it. NOFD and New Orleans EMS do carry very advanced cardiac life support systems that do several functions. Good investment. You know, you know pe people assume that we measure our success at the sheriff's office on how many people we arrest, but that's really not it. It's on how many people we can help. The man did not want to tell his story, but is grateful these men saved his life. They've gone to dinner, and he sends notes and books to them. I feel like I've gained another friend. I really love this job. And while they were given Lifesaver Awards from the Kiwanis Club, they each say all they want to do is serve. Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana.